justice, justice. So he, he, he sticks out just because, you know, freshmen coming, you know, going, not going through the motion well, you know, in and, and, and practice in, in high school, it's not the same. So, you know, you don't really have to talk and be vocal. And, uh, you know, I can remember coach, you know, first practice, um, getting on the freshman about not talking. And Justice had a voice that just, it just, just, just caught everybody's attention. Like when he was locked in on defense and just talking, I mean, he has a voice where it, it, it's very powerful. Um, so he, there's been a couple of times where I haven't, you know, played well or been leading well. He's got to be, um, you know, Emil, Emil has done a great job as well. I mean, everybody's a leader. Ty's being the point guard. I mean, the job being our best player. But, um, I mean, everybody has stepped up and, and, and helped me out tremendously. We're going to go second row here on the aisle. We talked a lot about your relationship with Nolan. So, but when and how did you guys meet and get to know each other? Um, we're from the same area. Um, we played on the same um, club team. Um, he was on uh, obviously the older team than I was. And, uh, he was the best player on his team. I was the best player on my team. So I just idolized him and you know, just looked, looked up to him so so much. So finally, I guess somebody told him you know, who I was or, or like I was the biggest fan. And he just came over to me. I think I was seven, seven years old. And it's been 15 years. Here in the middle. Quinn, how many defenses have you guys played this year and how is that different from maybe years past? Uh, we played um, a couple of different ones. Uh, Two three zone, man to man, uh, full court press. Um, so a couple of variations of different defenses. Uh, we did that a lot. Um, my freshman year, um, we just had the personnel, uh, athletically what we could. Um, you know, with, with all three from the brothers, um, Andre Dawkins. Um, we were very athletic, Austin. So um, uh, it's, it's 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 been fun. It's been fun, and uh, you know, teams have to you know scout and get ready for various defenses. And, uh, you know, guys, guys like to play defense. So whatever coach you know feels at, at a certain time in the game, um, what defense we want to go to, you know, guys are comfortable and, and are confident in, in that defense. So it's been great for us. Here in the second round, all right? When you said that you guys want to be one of those teams that Coach K has bragged about in five to seven years, which teams and players does he brag about the most to you? No, nah, I mean, you know, we never get tired of it. I know I don't. I've been here for four years. I, I never get got tired of it. Um, you know, he talks a lot, obviously, about the 2010 team, but it was the most recent. Um, you know, um, and with John being here on staff, he always can refer to John about, you know, just sharing what was special about that team. Um, Coach Nate being on the 2001 team, um, um, obviously, he talks about early, late, and early. He talks about all of his guys. You know, you obviously want to be one of those players he, he, he talks about, you know, in the future. So, um, we don't get tired of it. I think we, we love it when, when he breaks out into one of his stories. And it, it's, it's, it's great because he, he's seen them all. He's coached, you know, the best of the best. So, to have a guy like that, um, you know, sharing wisdom is it, just an honor to, to be a part of. Do you have a favorite story? Uh, I, I think my favorite story is the 91. When they beat, when they beat uh, Biggs, who was undefeated, and uh, you know he can just he can just sense something was wrong um, with his team. They just weren't acting the same the next day, and uh, you know he, he went off on them in, in, in practice, and uh, you know these guys responded and they went on to beat Kansas. And, uh, it's, that's probably my favorite one. Here on the third row on the aisle on the left, it was Coach always happy with your leadership abilities, or did you have to evolve? Um, I had to def I had to definitely evolve. Um, he looked for me, you know, um, to be a leader. That's really the one thing that he told me. Like, I, I you're a tremendous leader um, in high school, and I want you to be a leader here at Duke. And uh, I showed glimpses of it, you know, a little bit my freshman year, you know, a lot my sophomore year, but not not as much that I needed to be. Um, some my junior year, and you know, I just wanted to give it all to him um, this year. And, uh, um, you know, it's just been fun. You know, he, he's had my back 100% um, since I've been here. So, you know, to, to be a great leader, it, it's been my biggest goal here. Fourth row on the aisle here on the left. Having to play the team earlier in the year, how much of an advantage is it to, to sort of already be familiar with what they can do? Um, it's, it's different 
just because they're a different team. I mean, it's not like we just played them in conference or in the you know conference tournament. We played them in December on the ACC Big Ten Challenge. And, you know, they're a different team. Um, I know Decker, he wasn't the same. You know, I know he had had some ankle problems, and uh, but they're a totally different team. And, uh, you know, it, it's good to refer to just to see you get a flow of the games and, and see how they they play, but. Uh, it's just totally different, just like Michigan State. I mean, we played those guys early in November, so they're a totally different team. And, you know, I think both teams are more confident. You know, obviously, you know, we're here for a reason. We're both championship level teams, so um, it's, it, it's definitely different. It will be, be different from the game we played in the summer, I think. Here in the fourth round, three uh, seed. I mean, Coach talked in there about how unique Wisconsin is. Uh, all five guys being able to score. You played some great teams over your four years. Does Wisconsin remind you of anybody in particular, or are they particularly unique? Um, it's not a team that really sticks out to me that I can say that I can refer to, but um, they're definitely unique. They're definitely, uh, you know, a tough team. I mean, they can score from each position. But they bring guys off the bench who, who's capable of having big nights. Um, they're a veteran team, so uh, and, and they play their own speed. They play their own tempo. They play great defense. So, I mean, it, it creates a lot of uh, nightmares for other teams. So, um, we got we got to be on our A game because uh, they're definitely unique and uh, you know that they want to win. The woman in the back, right? So, Quinn, I know you have to kind of keep your emotions in check, but have you?